Hello. FML Monday. Here we go, Terry. Thanks for sending these in. You go to 92kqrs.com, click on the on-air button, or you can call them in, 651-989-ROCK or ROLL from Mark in St. Paul. Ended up on a blind double date with a married couple I'm friends with, and for once, the woman they introduced me to is beautiful and interesting. At one point in the dinner, she showed us some pictures on her phone. She's into amateur photography, and I said, you must be artistic. Immediately, the mood changed. No one said anything, but clearly I'd said something wrong, and it went downhill from there. As I tried hard to correct something I said, but wasn't sure what, she decided to ride home with them, and we all went our separate ways that night. The next morning, I called my buddy and asked what went wrong. He says, well, it didn't help that you called her autistic. FML. Artistic. (laughs) Autistic. (laughs) Maybe she heard him wrong. This is from Lindsay in Apple Valley. I just started a new job working in the kitchen of a very nice restaurant. Second night, I was washing a stainless steel pot, but every time I pulled it out of the dishwasher, I saw some orange stain at the bottom. After three run-throughs, I showed it to the manager. It was just the reflection from my shirt. <laughs> F- <laughs> <laughs> Can I just tell you this really quick? Yeah. We were driving home. And this was a few years ago, but I saw it on Facebook this winter. Driving on County Road 6 after a snowstorm, the signs all looked like someone spray painted them silver. And I was saying to Abby, just look at that vandalism and all the taxpayer money. And we're both just outraged. Well, it was just the snow stuck onto the signs. <sighs> That's why Lindsay listens. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Sean from Roseville writes this one in. Spent three months trying to shake an ex-girlfriend who just couldn't accept our breakup. <laughs> Were you clear with her, Sean? Uh, sometimes you are. Things have been quiet for about a month when I guess I texted my love for her while smashed out of my mind <gasps> Saturday night. Uh-oh. Back to square one. FML. I can set you up, Zep. No, Sean. It's you she loves. You're How? her soulmate, buddy. How did that happen? How did he text his love? I think the smashed out of my mind. Okay. Part, yeah. I thought maybe Minor. his true feelings were coming. I've said it before. We need breathalyzers on those damn phones. Yeah, we do. A Zep train wreck female fan from Chanhassen writes in, I read this sexy tip in Cosmo and decided to give it a try while in the shower with my boyfriend... I used the loofah to wash his private parts. He burst into laughter, causing him to slip and fall. He now has a bruised butt, and I have a toenail that will fall off soon. Ouch, (laughs) FM. You're still experimenting. That's fun. (laughs) Now, the loofah, that's the spongy thing you soap up in. I guess so. I, I always thought it was that... Thing that you use on calluses, but it must be Ooh. the soft thing. Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> that think that wouldn't... would tickle. Maybe he's a masochist. <laughs> he wouldn't be laughing. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out our highlight reel. To hear more of what probably should have been left on the cutting room floor, head to 92kqrs.com, hover over the On Demand tab, and click Zepp and Terry.